I'd like to bring on Chris Alexander to discuss this, Chief Analytics Officer of Pioneer Development Group. Chris, thank you so much for being with us. It's great to have you. Thank you. That was a very succinct answer, at least. You can say that. <laughs> yes, right? Well, Chris, it's crickets from Joe Biden as usual, but what's your perspective on this so-called attack? Well, I, I am a, a former information operations planner, so this is something that um, I was actually taught about, trained, looked at how to implement, and then and then did some of in Iraq, Afghanistan, and elsewhere almost 20 years ago. So the, the cyber community has been talking about these issues for a very long time, and we just continue to lag behind in implementing. Um, to be fair, this was an exploitation by a group that generally does ransoms of a vulnerability on one file sharing service, move it. So it's, um, it's not a particularly concerning issue in and of itself, but it does speak to problems over the long term. Okay, interesting. Is there any evidence that you know of that would suggest this was or still a real credible threat and danger to Americans? Um, I, I wouldn't, but I know the Department of Energy has now admitted they were one of the agencies affected. And, um, you know, I think it's really important to remember you, you have different um, computer systems. You have a, uh, a classified top secret, a secret, and uh, we'll leave it at that, and an unclassified system. And these people aren't hacking into our sensitive um, systems, but, you know, I, I believe they hacked into Oregon, Louisiana, got people's um, uh, driver's license info. So um, they're a lower level threat. The, the fact is when professionals operate, nation state level professionals operate, you have no idea they did it in most cases until years afterwards, if ever. Yeah, that's right. Well, this may not play out to be some big cyber attack, but it does make you think about being prepared for a future one. And the question is, are cyber networks that could be affected across the nation ready for something like this? They definitely are not. Um, our critical infrastructure in virtually every category you could look at are not ready. And um, if we don't start investing in, and seriously thinking about these things um, and educating people about the risks so that they can support the change that need to be made, we are increasingly growing more and more vulnerable. The more dependent you are on your refrigerator, your washing machine, your car to be connected to the internet, the more vulnerable you are in general. And um, um, we have a lot of work to do and, um, and we're really falling behind. Very scary. Do you have any confidence that this administration will get things in order to ensure that we are prepared in the future? Um, you know, leaving the blockchain industry behind, uh, turning their back on crypto certainly doesn't help because there are so many amazing security issues uh, that can be resolved through through blockchains. Um, they haven't seemed particularly committed in foreign policy on much other than than Ukraine, Russia. So um, we'll have to see. But um, you know, the, the Democrats tend to, to specialize more in, in domestic than than foreign um, work, and I think this is sort of a hybrid that um, they don't have a great track record in. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, switching gears a bit to BlackRock, uh, they've just filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF and Coinbase will be its crypto custodian. However, Larry Fink has referred to Bitcoin as an index of money laundering. I guess if you can't beat them, then join them, right? <laughs> What's with their change of heart here? Um, this is a, a, a pattern now. I, I, Jamie Dimon said a bunch of it constantly beats on crypto and has an entire spinoff company that's looking at doing a, a crypto work. So. I think um, some of these CEOs are a little bit out of step. Um, I think overall, this is um, this is a mixed blessing. I think for for, for crypto, um, what we lack in this country is crypto literacy, and and what this ETF does is allow you to put your money into crypto without having to learn how it actually works. So on on the plus side, I, I think it's good that people are, are 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 involved. BlackRock has some significant lobbying power to deal with the SEC. Um, at this, at on the other hand. Um, you know, it's not it's not really encouraging people to learn about this technology and what it can do beyond kind of, uh, you know, exchange trading. And so uh, it's a mixed bag. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard hitting, straight shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.